Ratna. That's a Jewfish type of run. Something has taken a liking to the large Z-Man 5 inch diesel minnows. Stop it! Stop it! Oh! Stop it! Well, good morning. It's only just morning. It's pretty early for me. I've made the effort, got out of bed. It is chilly. Um, for Brisbane at least, those keen-eyed of you who can see through the steering wheel there will note that it is well and truly single figures. That's cold for Brisbane weather. Seven degrees according to the car. Well shy of 6 a.m. Made the effort to get out of bed early, try and catch the best part of the day, according to morning people. I'm not sure about that, but we'll see if they're right. <laughs> about to find out. Just felt that tap as it hit the bottom. I'd sounded up some fish in this little pocket. It's got some decent weight to it. I'm thinking it might be a little dew fish, but it could be a decent sized flathead. Looking straight into the sun here at the moment, so it's not gonna be real good for the camera. That's a dew fish type of run, but still hedging my bets on this one. 
I got up early, got up in the cold because the tides were right for an early morning session. But this is the reason why, this is the reason why I didn't ignore that early morning wake up call when it was so tempting in the single digits to get hooked up, have the rod bent, have the drag screaming hasn't taken long when I've got into the right spot and that's that silver flank seeing those spots come up that's the moment that's your cast for that's it just there you make a plan you cast for it you plan for it and you see that fish come up through the water Not a big one, but they're all special. I'd specifically set up this tackle, this lure, and this time to catch this fish. And it makes me happy to see it all come together. Got that Z-Man Diesels, that's Green Lantern on a one quarter TTG head sitting in the corner of the gob there. Beautiful hookup. That's the three to six kilo Akumaceros. And that's the 30 size Akuma Sima. 15 pound braid, 15 pound fluorocarbon leader on these little estuary jewfish. You don't need huge, huge gear. They're a good fish, but they're not huge. So look at him there in the sun. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to take a quick photo and get him back. Look at him there in the sun. Beautiful fish. See you mate. I think my Jewfish hunt might turn into a flathead hunt very soon. I think the best part of the morning for the Jewfish is just about to pass me by. Might downsize and head into some shallower water and start my search for some uh, flathead. As I say that, something has taken a liking to the large Z-Man 5 inch diesel minnows. Is it the flathead that I've just said it might be time to start chasing? Or is it the jewfish that I was just about to give up on? Haven't seen the jewfish run yet. It's unusual. Something that just decided to jump out of the water. It looked flathead shaped, but flathead don't normally jump. What have we got here? It's big, make no bones about it. This is heavy gear. And it's putting a decent bend in that rod. There's a big lure. I've got a feeling it's a decent flathead. That's a very flathead type lunging run. I'm in 1.7 meters of water and I'm not aware that there's any type of structure around here for him to bust me off on. So I'm not gonna take any unnecessary risks to bully him towards the net. I'm just gonna let the rod take any lunges that he's prepared to give me. And I'm going to uh, let the drag take ground 
Yep, it's a good flathead. A good flathead. Just take a little wind every now and then when I get the opportunity and give him ground when he needs it. Well, I just finished saying, I hopefully the camera catches it, that I think it might be time to start chasing flathead. And lo and behold, here she is. Now, she's not quite ready for the net yet. And she does a pretty good job of filling that net. Oh, how's that? A jewfish and a good flathead all in one morning. Was it worth getting out of bed in the dark when that early alarm went off? Let's have a look in this net and you tell me. Yep, I think it might have been. Okay, I've just been taking some still shots of this lovely fish. All the time making to sure making sure that I was giving it a a nice swim in between and you can see that it comes in probably just over 60, probably 61, 62, something like that. What a beautiful fish. It's nice and healthy for release. So let's get that hook out. and easy off she goes lovely and healthy ready to terrorize more fish and anglers how cool is that things have gone quiet on the big bait I tried sounding up some bait in some deep water I've downsized my bait and go on to a lighter colour. And I'm on my lighter gear as well. Just going to try some, perhaps a little bit more finesse, if you can call a four inch bait finesse, but it's more finesse than it was. I'm still in six metres of water, so. With tidal flow in six metres of water, you can't be too finesse. Go on the full inch diesels in purple glimmer, I think it's called. So it's a very light colour, natural colour, very bright conditions, clear water. And I've got the big red eye with the yellow jig head on it, bit of a strike trigger. Gonna try this for about 10 minutes or so. And I'm gonna head up into the flats. Finish my session off there. Here we go. I'd say this is a flathead. Got those little head shakes of a little flathead. Yes, it is. Just a wee tiny baby one. So, 
the downsize has got me some action not necessarily <laughs> of the caliber that I'd hoped but hey it's better than nothing see you mate now I just have to hope that I don't get run over by a boat and that they're actually looking where they're going so that little flathead would have been sitting underneath all of this bait that I'm sitting on and I'm just hopping my lure through that bait No reason to say why the next fish can't be another 60 centimetre model though, sitting with that little one. And there's all that bait, hopefully you can see it on my sounder there with all the glare. There's all that bait that I'm seeing. So I'm just sort of jigging my lures around that area. Are you right? I'm trying to make a video here. Yep. Yeah. Rockets fishing adventures, mate. Yep. Look it up. Don't back chat me. I know boats. There we go, on the drop. This one's got a bit more weight. Still got those flathead head shakes. Still not a big fish. Bigger than the last one. Oh yeah, he's decent. He was just a little bit dog. I think he's going to uh, take off when he finds out that he's coming to the surface. I don't want to just rip his lips off and throw him into the net. He's going to go absolutely burko. There we go. No, don't go burko. No, I don't want you to go burko. Yeah, see that's the burko that I was talking about, mate. Come on, read the script. We got together last night and went through this at the read through. Stop it, stop it. Oh, stop it. Graham. Tell ya, good co-stars co are hard to find. Playing up like a cheap watch, aren't ya? Get back in the net. Okay, there's the uh, lure that just did the damage with uh, Graham there. That's the four inch diesel minnows. We got a bit of Procure mullet. There's that big eyes from TT. Yellow. Red eye, a bit of a strike trigger. I've just been finding some bait schools, casting around the edges of them, and hopping this through. Let's get that Z Man diesel out of the corner. It wasn't going anywhere, was it? Let's get some water going through those gills, make sure he's nice and happy. I'm pretty sure he is. See you, mate. Yep, off he goes. How cool is that?